So at McDonald's you buy one and get one for free. Winning things. Yeah. That would be one of the greatest moments in vlog history, but the fucking reflection didn't catch that. <laughs> so, wait, how, did, how long you been knowing about this? I just saw this right now. She just liked them in my picture. So, Janelle has a catfish guy. She likes the same picture that she took. Oh, <laughs> wow. Here, let me go follow her. Hey. Okay, so, Janelle has a catfish. And she, a she has a lot. You do? Mm -hmm. That's an honor, isn't it? Like, you know? Anyway, Janelle has a lot of catfish. No, she doesn't have a catfish. Someone's catfishing using her. Bait. She's 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 the hook. She's the bait, bro. No, she's not the bait. Oh, she's the bait or the hook. I'm about to follow this person. <laughs> you look like a sport rich girl. Ask for a, a follow back. So, taskpay.com. What is she showing? What? She's looking at nudes, Janelle. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. I love how she has something sentimental though. R.I.P. Lil Sherm. <laughs> right there. R.I.P. Lil Sherm. Mm. And she has Janelle's picture. <laughs> that I just posted. And I, I don't know if Janelle's catfishing motherfuckers out here or not, no, but. I'm not. Oh, tomorrow we're playing a big prank. Hopefully, this guy that Janelle's been talking about oh, in the past few God. vlogs flakes. <laughs> I don't even know why. It's like two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is third one. So it's a few now. Oh um, we're trying to see if he if he's gonna come see her about an hour away. I'm saying an hour is really 45 minutes. It's long as Anaheim. Anaheim is 25 minutes, girl. <laughs> so anyway, back to the thing. It's about an hour away. Mind you, I was in a relationship at a point in my life. I used to drive a buck 15 that way and a buck 15 back. Why? Love makes you do some dumb ass shit. Shout out to all the miles on my car. Shout out to all the miles on my truck. And all the guests. Bro, I kid you not. I kid you not. I will go out there with a full tank. I'll come back with a quarter. Real shit. Anyway, so we're trying to see if Janelle's man actually comes out here and sees her. He's been giving her the runaround. She sees her. She she texts him. She doesn't. He doesn't reply. <laughs> he sees her snaps though. I'm just saying. We're trying to figure out Janelle's life right now. They're doing a. Uh, damn! Look, he did it. Oh, he did it. Yeah, where you at? <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost. Yeah. Let's see if we can figure this out. Here. Try to figure this out. Take it right away. He's like, I got this hook. I got it. I got it. Uh oh. I had it. I don't know what's wrong. You got nervous. You want that soda. That's all I'm working for, the soda. I think he's in the figure right now. Okay, so I'm gonna do another hot seat soon. Um, let me know who you guys want to be in it. There's a lot of people that work here. My goal is to get everybody um, at least once, and I'll ask myself in it also. Um, I'll ask myself some questions. Stupid, no, I wanna ask. Is that cheating? Cheating. Hey, but let me show you guys the next pickup also. Scum bottom seven fifty. No, it's my friend apartment. Don't yep. believe I'm gonna get that. I'm pretty excited. This guy's gonna hook me up. I'm gonna Brian's gonna trolls over there. I'm gonna fuck slap. I'm gonna fuck some trolls over there. So it's been a long day today. And me and Brian just we couldn't we We just tired man. We've been running a lot of day shifts for a lot of hours, so we just been like, eh, fuck it. And plus, he scheduled those only until 5 o'clock. So he kind of, I don't know, like God knew that we're supposed to leave early. So, yeah. And plus, Aaron and Jeremy ha are handling the floor pretty good today. They're doing good stuff. So, Brian, me and Brian are going to grab some food. Brian wants to hang out. I don't really hang out with friends like this, and I kind of want to start to, 
I'm too, 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 I'm like too to myself. Watch this. Yeah, I'm too stuck on my ways. I gotta get better. I gotta be a better friend, better person. A lot of, you know, I'm too much of a loner. I'm a lone wolf mentality kind of person. There's only like one crew that I go around with that I kind of grew up and got into my, I went through the whole industry thing, whatever you want to call it. I only drove with four people, Gino, Reject, and Klee. Oh, and I'm four, so three people. Slick living, man. And we went on tour, we slept on floors, we took delayed flights, we did, we did a lot together and it was fun. And I forever will love and care for my G's. And I know if there's one, one couple people I can depend on, it's those three guys. I love all the positivity you guys leave in these comments, man. I respond because I see the comments when they pop up. And I'm on my phone sometimes, and I, see, and I see, hey, thank you for, you know, wise words, whatever, and I just be responding. Here comes Brian. Uber? 22nd and 13th, please. Okay, right on. <laughs> You're in the cash cab. <laughs> it's a game show that takes place right here in this charger. <laughs> here, vlog, you talk to them. I don't know what to say. Tell them your name, tell them, tell them about yourself. So, oh shiz. Anyways, my name is Brian. Uh, I'm Jamie's right hand at the Mag Park. We basically do everything together now. <laughs> We're gonna go eat right now. Uh, taking off a little early, but we deserved it. <laughs> we work too much. We work too much anyways, so we gotta take some time off on some other days. And tomorrow we're coming in fucking early. And tomorrow we're coming in early. I'm coming in at 8, he's coming in at 9. Uh, we just got a lot of stuff to do at the store and we can't do it while the store is open, so we gotta come in and do that early Here we go, let's put you in the hot seat. Five questions. Oh, okay. Hot seat. Hot seat. Um, what, what was your first ex uh, impression when I walked in at Mad? Try hard. Incredibly try hard. <laughs> I had no idea who this guy was walking in in some shoes with the face and the glasses. I was like, all right, another customer that's going to want to do this and that. I had heard he was coming. But you didn't know who I was. I didn't know who he was. They're like, oh, Jamie from Riff. I was like, that don't mean anything to me. Can did, we... you have a, did you have a, a face to the name? or Not at all. I had no idea who you were. Okay. See, I'm into sneakers. I like it. I'm more of a historian though when it comes to like Nike and things like that. I don't really follow the, the community, the shoe liberties, the vlogs, anything like that. I'm not that guy. You're more of, you know the history about Nike, right? Exactly. All right, here goes that question. What's your uh, favorite Jordan 1 of all time? Air Jordan 1, 1994 Chicago with the highest cut that they've ever made. That's probably my favorite Jordan 1. Why? It, I just love the feel of it and it looks completely different than the 85 and it looks completely different than the 2015. Like there's there's these little details that oh, the 94 just hits it right. I know it's not the original, you know, it looks different than what Jordan played in. But the 94 for me is the best quality one. Alright, um... What's your favorite thing about working at Mag Park? Jamie. Oh. <laughs> well, not just Jamie. I love working with all my friends. Uh, my coworkers are my friends before they're anything else. So I think we always have each other's backs, you know. I don't feel... There's days where I don't even feel like I'm working. I'm getting paid to be with my friends. And sure, there's like tasks that we do and things. We hit speed bumps, we get angry at each other, we butt heads, but at the end of the day, it's all love. Like, that's really what gets us through the work day. That's really what makes us so successful. Okay, dead or alive, what, what's one girl oh, that you will be like, I will marry her in a second? Dead or alive. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. Now 
got to think of like all the dead honeys. R.I.P. <laughs> all the dead honeys. Because oh. you know Aaliyah, she up there. R.I.P. Rest in peace, baby girl. Um, I think I'd have to stay alive though, honestly. And for me, uh, it's either Emma Watson or Taylor Swift. I'm a Swifty. I'm always Team Taylor, no matter what happens. When the VMAs happen, I was the biggest Kanye fan and I still sided with Taylor. Team Tay all the way. So, so wait, so it's Emma Watson or uh, Taylor Swift? Man, why you gotta make me choose? Because I have to. <sighs> all right. Um, even though I love Taylor, it's gonna have to be Emma for me. Really? Yeah. Wow. I love that accent. She's all for equality. Where, where is she from? She's from England. Really? Yeah. Emma Watts? Oh, Hermione. Hermione from you, Harry Potter. You know what I was thinking? Were you thinking Emma Stone? Emma Stone. Yeah. From Superbad? Yep. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, shout out to Hall of Fame. Shout out to Mello for this uh, free tea. Shout Takes care Mello. of me. Shout out to Mello, man. I love that, that dude. Mello's a great dad. Mello's a great He's guy. A great person. Um, last question, man. Here last go. question. That's kind of simple. Man. If you can totally travel good. anywhere in the world for 24 hours, where'd you go? All I have is 24. Yeah, 24 hours. Not okay. So, like, you get there and your time starts once you step on there. Right, 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 right. Not including travel time or anything. No. Anywhere in the world? Yeah, anywhere in the world. I think I'd want to do New Zealand. New Zealand? New Any Zealand. specific place? Or just... um, <sighs> the capital is really cool or whatever, the, whatever they call it. I forget, I had a friend who traveled to New Zealand and it just like blew my mind. Um, I think I could do some damage in 24 hours in New Zealand. It's... <laughs> Not in that way, just in terms of travel and seeing different things, experiencing the culture, a lot like that. I love to travel, so I think New Zealand is up there. And if not New Zealand, it would be like India. India? Whoa, India. I wasn't expecting India at all. <laughs> you know what I was expecting? Eat, pray, love. Eat, pray, love. <laughs> I was thinking uh, Germany for some reason. Oh, I actually had an opportunity to go to Germany uh, earlier this year, but... Work is work, you know? I would have gone to Germany. I'll go next time, don't worry. Uh, if you want to stop recording.